What's up guys, welcome to East West Beats. Uh, today I'm doing a studio tour with the Patels USA. Make sure you follow the link in the description and follow their page and social media as well. A lot of you have been asking questions about what kind of equipment I use, what kind of MIDI keyboard I use, so I figured what's a better way to tell you guys than actually do a studio tour. My desk is an autonomous Excel desk. It's a white top desk. It's a standing desk, so I can bring up the desk, bring it down whenever I want. And it's just four presets. I can choose my presets and then forget about it. And my core system that I use is a Mac Pro. It's basically the dustbin that's on their website. Site. I bought it when I was scoring a film and I've been using it ever since and I paired with an Acer ultra wide monitor that gives me enough real estate to do all of my mixing mastering and you'll see some of those clips here main MIDI keyboard I use is a Yamaha MX 49 it has sounds in it too so if I want to jam I can go to my monitor station by PreSonus it's changing the input and do all of that audio stuff uh, jam out to it and if I want to record it's connected to my computer via MIDI so I can always do that as well I also have a machine mk3 I use that as a drum machine as well as I use that for mixer controls in Logic Pro and a lot of you don't know that it actually works as a controller for your play pause record and also your mixer control so you can do a little bit of mixing without actually looking at the audio levels and it works out great because sometimes you're able to mix better that way then also my monitors that I have is my beloved Genelec M030 is their active monitor so you just plug them in I, I plug them into my Apogee Duet and I'm able to get a really good gauge of the true Genelec sound that I have. I also have a single mono baritone monitor that I use just for mono listening. So I hit the mono button on my PreSonus and I'm able to listen what the mix would sound like on an iPhone speaker or a small speaker, or a little radio or a, a really bad car speaker actually. That's what that is basically. I also have my JBL speakers. They're the eight inch speakers and I paired it with a sub. And what I do is I hooked it up to my monitor station in a way where one of the output goes directly to the speakers and the other output goes via the sub. So I can listen to it with or without the sub and then I also have my Genelec and the baritone that I can listen to them on And then on top of that I have an APK mini. This is my on table MIDI controller so I can trigger my drums from it if I want to just lay down chords a quick idea I don't need to pull out a big keyboard I can just do everything on the desk right here and that basically consists of my studio setup as far as creating music as far as recording vocals I have two microphones I have the AKG C414 XL2 which you see behind me and then I also have the Sennheiser MK4 now the reason these Sennheiser mics are phenomenal is you have to realize Sennheiser is the same company as Newman both of the micro microphones are made in the same factory so you're getting that almost close to a $800 $900 maybe even a $2,000 mic sound for close to 400 bucks if you guys want to check out any of the equipment that's here make sure you go in the description I've listed out everything that I have you can just click on it buy it you know get it in your studio a lot of the stuff that I have you can probably get under $2,000 except my Mac Pro but that's assuming that you already have a laptop and a monitor that you're working with literally you can get a mini keyboard a cheap microphone under a thousand bucks and another great thing is if you don't have a treated room like me, you can get the Altron PF8. That's basically goes onto your microphone and creates almost like a vocal booth, isolation booth. So you can be in a pretty noisy environment and record that and still get a workable vocal that you can send to an engineer or an artist you're working with. So yeah, that's my quick studio tour. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And if you guys are interested in the acoustic treatment, I'm using the GK acoustics panels. I got the room kit. I don't think everyone needs the room kit, but I needed it because of the acoustic in the room. If you have a good pair of headphones, I have two headphones. I have DT770 Pro and I have the AKG K702s. So I use both of them and I get a good mix out of them. I test it out on my monitor. So I, sometimes I like the music to be loud, hence I treated the room. So yeah, that's basically my studio tour. Again, guys, any questions, leave it in the comment. Make sure you share and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. And if you want any suggestions on what kind of studio equipment you want, let me know. You guys see that I answer the comments all the time. Happy to do that. Follow me on Instagram as well. I'm doing a free audio kit giveaway as well and then I'm also going to give out some presets for Logic Pro on how to get your vocals to sound like some of the top rappers like Fatty Rap. Make sure you do that and also make sure you don't forget to follow my boy the Patels USA who are helping me with this amazing video so make sure you check them out and I will catch you guys at